Hi, this is Liz Pierce at Lynn Benton Community College here to talk with you about social identity. And first I want to say that mostly we're going to be talking about the social aspect of identity. There are other aspects such as the external, which would be things like if I talked about myself, I would say I'm a teacher, I'm a dancer, I'm a hiker. And the internal, which again, if I were to talk about myself, might be characteristics like I'm, I want to be a good listener. I try and care about equity and do all that I can to work toward equity. But we're here going to focus on the social identity and the social characteristics. So here is a social identity wheel uh, that I designed and you will see that it contains uh, multiple social characteristics. There are other things that could go on this wheel, but we're going to concentrate on these for right now. So when we say your social identity, we're really talking about the combination of your social identities or the combination of all of these characteristics. Most of us identify with a couple aspects of our social identities most strongly, but we can't be uh, winnowed down or focused on just one identity. We don't want to be called just one thing like gay or black or white or disabled. So let me just review these a little bit for you. We have age, religion, sex, gender, sexuality, ethnicity, culture, race, SES or socioeconomic status, SES, your first language, your nationality, and whether you see yourself as disabled or able-bodied or tempor temporarily able-bodied or having a disability. So those are all basically social characteristics and each of us identify more or less strongly with different aspects of those social characteristics, but we all have all of those social characteristics. So here are some ways to measure what aspects of your identity you most identify with. So which parts of your identity are, are perhaps most critical to you or that uh, you really relate to the most? So you might think about who are the people you hang out with? What aspects of your social identity do you share with them? Is it mostly people of the same age? Mostly people who worship the same way you do? Mostly people of the same culture or ethnicity or sexuality? Whom do you admire? Who are your heroes? Who are the people you quote? Who are the people you have pictures of? Uh, who are the people you share ideas with uh, from those heroes? Who are you attracted to? Um, who are your favorite artists, favorite singers, favorite athletes, etc. That will help tell you what aspects of your identity you, you identify most strongly with. Just, I am going to give you a couple definitions because I am so often asked about these particular aspects of, of social identity, but these are going to be really quick definitions. Um, so a lot of times people ask, what, like, what's the difference? What's the relationship between race, culture, and ethnicity? So just to be sure, just to remember, of course, race is a social construction. Um, it's not a biological thing but it does divide people into groups and it does affect how people are treated so we do look at it as a social characteristic. Culture focuses more on um, behaviors and interactions that are shared and learned through socialization and ethnicity uh, also looks at sort of social groups that share language, behavioral patterns, often have a shared ancestry uh, and geography, etc. And then I also get asked, what's the difference between sex, gender, and sexuality? Now, you'll take more classes on both of these things, so you'll get very deep into them. But for the purposes of this class, I do want you to have the basic definition. So sex is the biology. The gender is the way we socially express our sex, our sex identification. And, and there are sort of a couple subcategories that are important to understand, um, being cisgender, meaning you express your way in the way that society typically expects you to, transgender, identifying with a gender other than the one assigned 
to you at birth or biologically, um, or gender nonconformity, which doesn't relate to, you know, a binary system of gender, but sees it as more of a continuum. And then sexuality is about your sexual orientation. It's not just who you have sex with, but who you're attracted to, who you have feelings for, what your capacity is for sexuality. So if I was going to describe myself, I'd say I'm a woman, a female, uh, sex. Uh, mostly I see myself as cisgender, sort of expressing myself um, as women often express themselves, although I trend now a little bit more towards gender nonconformity. And maybe if I were a little younger, I might embrace this and really try to express uh, gender nonconformity just because it's a little harder to change as you get older, but, but I could still do it. And then sexuality, mostly I identify as a lesbian, although at times I have identified as um, bisexual. So what I want you to do is I basically want you to think about these questions. You know, what is your social identity in all of these categories, but which are the ones you identify with most strongly? What do you really relate to? What do you really see as your social identity? The overlapping of these characteristics. That's your assignment. And if you need more resources on any of these topics, I can definitely give you more to read or to view about any of these things. And again, you will study them more in your future classes. Uh, but these, this was very kind of basic, simple definitions to get you started on understanding your social identity because it's important to you to understand yours and then to be able to relate to other people's social identities. Please um, post your questions in the forum and I will be very happy to provide more resources.